The world famous Glastonbury Festival in the south of England was one of many cancelled not once, but twice. It's due to go ahead in June with many of the headliners who'd signed up for 2020. Among those confirmed, Billie Eilish and Diana Ross. Expect big celebrations as the festival belatedly celebrates its 50th anniversary. On the other side of the globe, Rio's residents are planning the party of the century with the return of the Rio Carnival in February after 2021 saw it cancelled for the first time in a hundred years. But with two million tourists normally descending on Brazil's famous beach city for it, authorities warn it all depends on the pandemic situation. If you thought one year was a long time to wait, ABBA fans have waited around 40. The Swedish pop sensations will stage their first concert in decades in London's Olympic Park from May. Well, sort of. There'll be a live band, but Anna Fried, Agnetha, Benny and Bjorn will be on stage digitally as avatars. I guess less risk of them having to cancel due to Covid and a glimpse of concerts of the future, perhaps. To the world of movies now, and in March, the Oscars return to their longtime home, the Dolby Theatre in LA. Often criticised for a lack of diversity, the 94th Academy Awards, for the first time, require entrants for Best Picture to submit details of how they're promoting greater inclusion. On the red carpet, all eyes will be on the favourites to scoop awards, including Kristen Stewart, Will Smith, Lady Gaga and Denzel Washington. Immersive art exhibitions really took off in 2021. The Van Gogh one dazzling art lovers in dozens of cities, from Beijing to Berlin to Boston, and it continues into 2022. But prepare to dive into others. Immersive Monet in Miami from January and Klimt coming to London in July. In June, the World Heritage Committee meets in Kazan in Russia to decide which sites to add to the more than 1,100 UNESCO World Heritage sites already on the prestigious list. Contenders this time include the Persian Caravanserai in Iran, historic roadside inns dotted along ancient trade routes. And one for theatre lovers. The Museum of Broadway opens in New York in the summer, celebrating the theatre district's rich history, its pioneers, and promising to take visitors behind the scenes to experience what it takes to put on a glitzy show in what we all hope will be a glitzy year. Ben Bulos, BBC News.